Hi, I've been working on a video that's taking forever, so in the meantime I thought I should keep the flow going, especially since the rise in the number of psychos getting out and killing people, both in US and Canada. You might not know this, but what really keeps those psychos under control are the entertainment and junk food industries. If those people are kept entertained in front of their TVs and monitors while eating junk, by the time they decide to kill somebody, they'll be like... Haven't you noticed in movies that all those psychos are these skinny, shaky people that are like I really wanna kill somebody So here I do my part. You can thank me later for saving your family and friends. Anyways, this video will show you how to make an anti -peh. Well, I actually didn't know the real name of this thing. So I did a little search and realized that its actual name is Pop Filter or Pop Shield. Very suitable names. I'll call it anti -peh. You might not know what this is for, so I'll explain. When you speak into a microphone and you say a word that has the letter P in it, your mouth generates a gust of wind that will hit the microphone and that generates a low frequency, high amplitude, annoying pop sound. Like imagine a groom in his wedding wants to say something nice about the bride. He picks up the microphone and right there he realizes that he has left her back in the church and he says, Poop. Well, this happens in case of Christians. In case of some Muslim wedding parties, the groom may accidentally pick up the wrong woman because they're all covered and look the same. Well, they won't really say the word poop, so it's not a problem there. Cultural differences, you know. In the case of Jews, well, I better not joke about Jews. You know, I'm not exactly the right race. I personally believe that all people are the same, but the Israeli government doesn't quite agree with this. To them, some people are more equal than others. I don't want them to start bombing Vancouver as a warning just because I said something, especially with their latest knock on the roof technique. Now, anti pe basically blocks this gust of wind while letting the sound to get through to the microphone, so the recording of the sound pe sounds much better. I mean, you can really buy these things for less than $20. But first, I wanted to do a project with my daughter, and second, I spent less than $2 to make mine, and third and most importantly is that I have to keep those psychos out there entertained. So I searched through my wife's stash of fabrics and found this thin mesh of fabric. And then I was lucky to find a large magnifying glass in a loony store. The lens had already fallen off, so I gave it to my daughter to burn things with sunlight. And then I glued the fabric to the frame of the magnifying glass, and voila, the anti pe was born. Okay, let me show you how well it works. First, without the anti pe <laughs> Trying again. First, without the anti pe now with the anti pair. Poopy poop poop. Hear the difference? So this works pretty good and I can use it to make my other video that's taking forever. So stay tuned. And keep eating your junk food and no shooting, okay?